Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 58th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, I'm sorry, we're not going to do any programming this video. I refuse. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, I've been asked a few questions by about three dozen people saying, Brian, uh, what books have you read to learn Qt? Um, they're finding it uh, difficult and challenging to learn Qt, and they kind of wanted my input on some books, so here we go. A uh, quick search of Amazon.com for Qt reveals a lot of books out there. Um, a lot of books. Although, granted, not all these are books about Qt. There is, of course, the official book. Let me just open that up here. Uh, C++ GUI Programming with Qt 4, 2nd Edition, Prentice Hall. This, um, I thought it was a very good book. Let me show you the cover here. I thought it was a good book. Um, it it's kind of choppy and hard to follow in some places, especially if you're new to programming. Um, they use little code snippets from actual working code, which is good, but if you just read, if you just pick up the book and start reading it, you're like, what is this guy talking about? Um, the authors, Jasmine and Mark, are, uh, are probably on a different level than most of us, and they know this inside and out. So, um, just my personal opinion, don't take this personally, Mark or Jasmine, um, your book is very good, but in some spots it left me really scratching my head wondering what was going on and I had to kind of, you know, go back and reread it just to, to figure out what was going on because at times I didn't have the source code in front of me. Very excellent book though, I would definitely recommend buying this. On that note, the advanced book I am just starting to read right now and it is very good. I, uh, I've learned a lot from this book just from the first two chapters. Um, but it is advanced, so don't rush out and buy it unless you've covered the basics here. Um, once again, it kind of has the same writing style as the other book, meaning that uh, you're going to have to have the actual source code, and it's in it's in the book. It tells you where to download the source code, but you're going to need the source code in front of you to actually kind of understand what they're saying. Otherwise, you're going to just look at a little snippet of code and not really know what in the world's going on. Um, another book that I bought was the Foundations of Cute Development, and this book, I have to say, surprised me. This was a very, very good book. I would highly recommend this, especially if you're a beginner, because it walks you through, ah, go away Amazon, it walks you through everything start to finish, and I found it very helpful. Um, it also comes with, you know, source code that you can download off the web, but uh, it's the writing style of this book uh, really agreed with me. Um, he covered things in depth, not just using little snippets of code, but actually explaining why. And that's something as beginners we tend to uh, really crave, and the experts seem to take for granted, is why things work. Why do you do it a certain way? And that's something the author really hits right on the head. Um, another book, let me see if I can find it. It's the art of, there it is. The Book of Qt4, Art of Building Qt Applications. Um, this book was recommended to me, and admittedly... I didn't really get into it that much. I don't really know why. It's certainly nothing wrong with the book itself. I think it's just because by the time I actually got around to picking up this book, I had read, you know, three plus other books. Um, so I'd recommend you go out there and when in doubt, you know, always read the customer reviews, whether you're on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles or wherever you buy books from. Um, but just skimming through this book, it seemed like it was very good, but I can't give you my personal opinion of it. That being said, let me close the window here. When in doubt, just flip into Qt Creator and type in whatever you're looking for. So we'll say like QSound. I was reading about that today. You know, QSound is a very simple class that helps you, you know, play wave files and it just, you know, right there. That's what you need. QSound play and then the path of the wave file. So um, a lot of people say you don't actually need to buy a book or you don't need specialized training or you don't need videos on YouTube to learn Qt programming. But uh, if you're like me, the more sources you have to learn from, the better. So, this is Brian. Uh, I hope you found this educational and entertaining. And thank you for watching. And uh, keep up with that feedback. I really enjoy hearing from you guys.